Suchiapa, in the state of Chiapas, Mexico, has a population of 17,000. It is predominantly Catholic and each year celebrates Corpus Christi, the holiday commemorating the Eucharist, by which Christians symbolically consume the blood on the body of Jesus of Nazareth. This tradition in Suchiapa dates back long before the conquest, by the Catholic Spanish, however. It originated in the Mayan ritual of the Kalala, the dance of the deer. It was most probably devoted to Sib, the hunting god who had deer, ears and antlers, Balam, the jaguar god of the underworld, Kukul clan, the feathered serpent god, and the hero twins, Hunapu and Nixbalanke. Catholic missionaries converted the tradition into the Israelite story of David and Goliath, with the serpent god representing Goliath, the hero twins represented by John King David, and the hunting god and jaguar god represented by deer and jaguar dancers. The jaguar, called Tigre in Sushiapa, was an important symbol of the Mayan people. The jaguars wait while the deer, the giant or gigante, and David, known as the gigantillo, dance together. Some tigres have Catholic symbols carved or embedded in the back of their mask. They periodically bow before the deer and gigantillo David. The gigante carries a wooden sword and tiny shield. The two Davids, represented by children, carry a symbolic bow and arrow. Apparently the shepherd's sling is unfamiliar to the Sushiapans. The chamulas represent hunters and carry a rattle. They shout hule hule to urge their dog to find the hidden Eucharist. There are no dogs in the parade, but some chamulas carry a green iguana. It's not the dance of the Kalala, it's the dance of the giant, many call in the Kalala. The deer and the jaguars are part of it. But the heart of the ceremony is the giant, the feathered serpent. He's the heart, the most important character of this dance in the Chamula, who is properly speaking a casero, a hunter. The story is, the hunter used a stick to go poking in a beehive in a tree atop a mountain, and in that hive the consecrated host, a wafer, appeared. But before that, the host was present in a wedding in the beehive, and the married couple dropped the host during communion. The little girls represent the queen bee who found the host. That is where the hunter found the host, in the beehive, so Christ appeared. I think Kalala is a word from the Soke dialect. It means the deer. The deer, the jaguar, the feathered serpent, all knew where the tree with the host was and protected. But they did not tell anyone until the hunter found the host. That's the meaning of the dance. The cry of the hunter isn't find it, it's hule hule, because that's what the hunter says to his dog. The Gigantillo represents King David, who fought with a defeated Goliath in the Bible. So he's an additional character. For this, he has an arrow on a sling. And in one part of the dance, he fights with the giants in the plaza, 
The Jaguars are there to help him. Between the parades, the chamolas and townsfolk bring candles to place before the altar to Saint Sebastian. Groups of dancers also periodically visit the church in order to celebrate Mass. day of Corpus Christi, a monstrance is carried by the Tigris to a park next to the town cemetery. The priest leads the Sushiapan in prayer, with the help of a deacon dressed as a chamula. En los cielos y en la tierra sea para siempre alabado. Bendito sea su sacratísimo corazón. Bendito sea su sacratísimo corazón. Bendita sea su preciosísima sangre. Bendita sea su preciosísima sangre. Then the monstrance is returned to the church, and the parades begin anew with a fresh set of dancers and musicians. At the end, there is a giant battle between the Chamulas and King David on one side and the giant on the other. Finally, the entire group enters the church and the characters dance inside. The Tigris tried to steal the rattles from the taunting Chamulas. Eventually, King David will defeat the giant and the Chamulas will find the host with the help of Queen Bee or Rainita. Mariano Champo makes masks for dances throughout Chiapas, including his hometown of Ciuciapa. I've been making masks for 55 years now. In the beginning, the masks were really primitive, because I had no real tools. I was in a regular school for a year, but eventually I got the idea to enroll in a school for visual arts. There I learned to carve in stone, wood, amber. I finished my studies about 12 years ago. For most of my life, I made Parachico masks for Chiapa de Corso, the Jaguar masks of my own town of Suchiapa. And I've also made masks for the carnivals of Coita, Spanish masks, and San Fernando, which has a big mask that has been danced for 2,000 years before Christ, just like this Jaguar mask. I've made masks that are danced throughout the 29 municipalities of Chiapas. Most artisans in Mexico paint with automobile paint. Here, we paint with traditional mineral-based paint, and we use cow intestines to polish the masks, which coats the paint and makes it hard. We make the paints so we never run out, and they can last 100 years and never fade. To make a mask, I don't use a template or anything, I start by tracing the design into a block of wood in four equal quarters, so that it comes out perfectly symmetrical. But the cylindrical interior is not perfectly round, because our head is a little elongated, so I have to use some math to make it fit right, so the dancer feels comfortable, and it doesn't pinch him. If it pinches, he can dance. In Mexico, the masks are all dance for traditions, some of which go back far in history. But the masks change. Like now, it is common to paint silver on the jaguar's head 
to symbolize the three point spears that soldiers of God use. Because today we are celebrating the fall of the Mayan gods and the replacement with the spiritual God. After carving, I apply Blanco de España, which is a kind of plaster that makes the wood smoother for the paint. Otherwise, the wood would absorb the paint. The ice I make myself, I melt glass into a mold. Then, when it's hard, I paint the back of it and glue it on. Then I add peccary hairs to the mask for the whiskers. The Danza del Calala, or Danza del Gigante, is an ancient Mayan ritual turned into a Catholic celebration. It brings together two disparate traditions into a rich, syncretic culture. <laughs>